going to get a shape. Can I act this out with you, Brianna? Yeah. Okay. And you don't want anyone to see your shape. So I'm going to give clues to somebody about the shape, and you're going to have to guess what it is, okay? So some clues, maybe I want to say it has six sides. What shape do you think it might be? A hexagon. Is it a hexagon? Okay, think about a clue you could give about your shape. Um, he has four corners. Four corners. Is it a square? No. What's another hint you could give me? Um, he has a long bottom. Rectangle? No. Is it a trapezoid? Yeah. Ah, nice. So you have to think about what are the clues that might make the other person guess it. Then you're going to swap your shapes. So now you have a new shape just to talk about. You're going to find another partner and you're going to give new clues to that partner. They're going to try to guess the shape you have, okay? What's nice about you being in fourth grade is you've been learning things like angles and vertices and all of those things that will help you describe your shapes. Okay, so I'll give you a shape. And if you're not sure the name of your shape, of course, you can ask and I'll tell you what it is. And then once everybody has a shape, we can get started. Oh, don't look. Close your eyes and Here, Maya. Oh, good idea. Okay, close your eyes, put your hand out. Good idea that we can't see each other's. So some of the shapes are hexagon, there's trapezoid, there's rhombus. Did you get one? Okay, friends, go ahead and walk around in this area. It has four corners. Oh, yeah, and the math name for it is rhombus. Oh, rhombus. You can show someone you're available by putting your hand up, and you can do, like, bubble high five when you find someone. It's not a quadrilateral. It's not a quadrilateral. Okay, um, mine has four 